Hi, this is Keir from Anatec Distribution. I'm here with Ryan Ovens, founder and CEO of Rhythm. Rhythm Switch is the newest product which we've added to the Anatec portfolio. We've got one here which we're going to demo to you with uh, numerous audio and lighting and heating smart home products. Um, Rhythm is a natural partnership and natural synergy for us, uh, being that we are also the UK Bluos distributor. Uh, Rhythm works really nicely with Bluos um, for adding just a little bit of easy uh, touch panel control to your Bluos environment. Um, and it also does numerous other things besides. With that, over to you, Ryan. Thanks, Keir. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to get into the demonstration of Rhythm Switch. So the principle is that it replaces a standard light switch or lighting keypad, so it can be powered via 100 to 240 volts AC or 12 to 30 volts DC, and then it just communicates via 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi to the other devices on the network. There's no additional proprietary Rhythm hardware required, so no process or anything. It communicates directly from the switch, to the devices that it's controlling. So uh, super scalable and easy to deploy. Uh, Rhythm Switch has three primary screens. So that's the scene screen that you can see here, the audio screen, and the climate screen. Um, the scene screen is predominantly for triggering lighting scenes, uh, might be shades as well, uh, but you could also trigger a macro in a, in a control system using a HTTP request. Um, so you can have up to eight scene buttons on the scene screen, and they could all be from different uh, native integrations or send different requests. Um, we can trigger, um, for example, Lutron RA2 uh, select here. Uh, we can trigger uh, scenes on there, or we also have Reiko that we're uh, triggering uh, some presets and scenes on as well. Uh, so super responsive. Um, I missed the button there, but as soon as we press the button, almost um, the command gets sent through. Um, then if we come on to the audio screen, um, we can uh, have the standard controls you'd expect, transport controls, play, skip, pause, stop, volume. Uh, we can change zones. Um, we can also select a preset. Um, and you can see that it's super responsive. Almost as soon as we press the command, it, it's jumping through to the speaker. Uh, really responsive audio control as well, um, and, and really super easy configuration that I'll come on to shortly. But we just jump into the climate screen um, where we can select a zone um, from a list of zones if we have multiple, um, or we can adjust the set point manually. Um, and this is actually uh, triggering a light within Philips Hue, but it could be a relay within Philips Hue, um, or it could be a relay within one of our other integrations such as Rayco or Lutron. Um, so super easy to use, super easy to deploy. Uh, also built into the climate uh, screen, we have a seven day scheduler. So we can come in and remove a sh few schedule points. We can add one for a certain time of day at a certain temperature, and then we can copy and paste between days to build our full seven day schedule. Um, in terms of configuration now, just to run through that, um, as I mentioned, it's all done on the switch. Uh, so we can come in and, um, First, I'm going to remove the audio integration. So we've come in integrations, blue offs, remove, confirm. So we've now removed the audio integration. That means the audio tab down here is gone and I can't get to the audio screen. So if we add that back in, add integration, blue offs, search for players, it's just going to hunt the local network for the players, build the zone list, and then it's going to confirm that it's connected to blue offs. And now we can come down and we've got the audio button back. We can come in, select the room, play and literally within a few seconds we've got the switch set up and controlling audio in the system uh, the scenes is configured in much the same way um, we come into our scene screen and we can add and remove buttons from um, a specific integration uh, to the screen to build our, our, our scene screen and that's pulling the scene names and, and um, the parameters from the third party system into rhythm switch uh, so super easy to use super easy to set up uh, scalable one other feature that we have in here is our standby gesture so if we set the um, display timeout back down to five seconds uh, we've incorporated standby gestures so that users can get the lights on or off audio on or off without having to wake or look at the screen. So we can just hold onto the screen to turn the lights on, hold again to turn the lights off, or we can actually double tap to play pause audio. So that's super easy to use. Uh, or we can actually combine those gestures together 
And we can do lighting and audio at the same time. 